over there, but I won't see you. I hear your voice, but it can't reach me. It all seems so trivial in the scheme of things. He emailed me after I think years and years of uh, having to heard about my band. Uh, so um, uh, and that was before I joined Camelot. So that was. Uh, during the seventh wonder time, I think he heard about me. And then when I joined Camelot, I think he, he checked me out. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, he emailed me and, and uh, I inst instantly wanted to, to work with him because I already knew some albums that he made. So, uh, of course, I said yes, and, and uh, here we are. The honest thing is, I was super happy really happy uh, because that's one of the one of the biggest things uh, actually at least you can do like to be asked to join uh, like an all-star project or whatever like uh, so so and also that it was him because i also already listened to some of his albums and I really enjoyed it so I, I the first thing was of course sheer happiness <laughs> My favorite would be Zero One, uh, because that I think that was the first album I listened to uh, from Orion. I play the part of the prodigy, uh, which is kind of close to my own uh, way of dealing with things in a way. I mean, uh, uh, I never studied music or I never studied like that, but um, so it's what people consider to be my talent I, I already have you know I didn't train myself to do it so so I could relate to that a, a little bit um, but yeah it was a lot of cool parts and uh, uh, I get to sh get to show off different sides that I don't maybe show off uh, in my other bands so it's cool experience in the studio was great. I mean, uh, I came here, I had no expectations whatsoever because usually when I record, I record for a longer period of time and I do it, often do it myself. Uh, and this is quite different uh, to work with a producer, already pre-written stuff. And uh, so I didn't really knew what to expect, but it turned out really cool and Arjen is great to work with and uh, super nice guy and talented so I guess you'll hear the end result was really cool. I would say a lot of creative freedom. I, the parts were already pre-written uh, so I kind of knew the parts already uh, but then everything was like if you have something better, just so it's kind of no prestige there. I mean, it's just uh, if you have something better, let's do this a great album. Let's make this a, the best we can. So, so we worked out some cool parts together. Not very hard. <laughs> no, I think he, he, he relies on me wanting to do a good job also. I mean, of course, if he's not happy, he will tell me and we will work things out. But I also have a lot of, I have high standards when it comes to my singing, so I, I, I won't just leave it with, with half. You know, if I don't like it, I don't like it, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try it until I actually like it. So, so in this case, he hasn't been so hard on me. <laughs> but I think he can be, if he, if he really he don't, don't like anything, he, I think he can, he really tells you, and then you have to find a, a solution. I really, I really think that my sense of uh, I, I want to be perfect. I want to, I want my. I don't know how if there's a word for it, but perfectionality, <laughs> perfectionism. That mechanism is uh, is the is the most important thing for me because I never want to be any worse that I that I already did. So I always always try to improve. 
if even if it's singing or, or exercising or I think that's one thing that you have or you don't have. But I don't settle with with uh, just good. I want to be the best or even better, you know. So that's why I think I I evolve as a musician as well. Very hard on myself. So at times when when I don't get get it right, I be very angry at myself and, and I won't stop until I get it right. Well, it's, go it's not going to be any demonstration, but uh, <clears throat> I usually, before tours and recording sessions, I, u I usually try to sing a lot, like gradually sing more and more uh, during maybe a month or two months just it's like actually it's like practicing with weights or, or do running or whatever you have to gradually if you didn't do it for a long time you need to gradually do more and more to get to, to make the body get used to what you're going to do so, so that's basically all I'm doing um, and also it's very important to drink water and to rest uh, but mostly I think it's the preparations uh, you know, in terms of singing more and more. Just do what you feel is right. I mean, if, do what you like and, and don't try to copy anyone. Just be yourself in your own musicality and uh, explore that as, as long as you can or as, as much as you can. And that way I think, I mean, you will find your own identity within the music, which you can use instead of uh, doing some something that other people already did. What I think is important uh, when it comes to, to being a musician, if you want to succeed, is to never give up. Because there is there's so many people giving up, like they think things are going to happen right away. But it's not, that's not the way it happens for most of the people. I mean, you have to work a lot of years, work hard and never give up and believe in yourself. Then you're going to succeed. Well, I always aim for, to, to, uh, for feeling instead of, uh, I mean, I want to uh, provide the listener with an experience like they can experience what I'm singing maybe rather than just a technical thing of singing you know I want to express a feeling um, with a nice melody and, and the way I sing uh, rather than just sing high notes or whatever you know I think that's mo the most important what I look for when I listen to music. I want to feel something when I listen to music. If I don't, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure about before me, but after me he will probably change it. <laughs> but was it stinky? No, it wasn't stinky. It smelled like man and woman combined. But it wasn't stinky. That could actually be kind of naughty. <laughs> <laughs> if you were transported back to a medieval battle, what would be your weapon of choice? I don't make these up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this could also be naughty, but my tongue. Please explain. <laughs> I'll try to not fight and uh, some kind of do some kind of talking to to not fight probably ease myself out of the situation. Adam's emerging.